Wolves can be found in mythology, folklore, and fairy tales in several countries around the world. These beautiful canines feature prominently in Native American legends and are associated with brute strength and courage. The two most widely recognized species of wolves are the red and gray wolves, with subspecies including the eastern wolf, Mexican wolf, the cave wolf, and the dingo. Around 12,000 years ago, man and wolf formed an unlikely alliance, and wolves evolved to suit this new arrangement. Their skull, paws, and teeth grew smaller, their ears became less prominent, and their body shapes and temperament changed. The wolf had become man's best friend, a dog. Some experts believe that this domestication could have happened as many as 40,000 years ago in Europe, and that hunter-gatherers tamed and eventually bred wolves. In the early 2000s, scientists discovered the mysterious sea wolf that took the wolf species' natural flair for adaptation to new heights. In British Columbia, a group of wolves forged their own path and adapted to the point where they could swim between coastal islands and hunt for fish. These sea wolves also adapted to the extent of being genetically different from other wolves and truly standing out from the pack. Their genetic differences make them distinctly lupin compared to their canine counterparts. The Pacific Canadian coast encompasses 21 million acres of forest and water, all of it teeming with wildlife. It is here where you might just have a magical encounter with a sea wolf, if you're lucky enough to see one of the two species that have been discovered, mainland coastal wolves and island coastal wolves. Mainland coastal wolves spend most of their time hunting deer on vast swaths of land, but also eat seafood. Island coastal wolves tend to swim between small islands while hunting for their next fishy meal. These meals usually consist of salmon and clams. Some of these sea wolves switch things up from time to time and go hunting for otters or feast on whale carcasses. If the hunters happen to be newly minted parents, their babies are usually babysat by a relative until the hunt for food is over.